Welcome to Tennis in a Minute, where I give you the rundown in 60 seconds or less. If you are not watching the match, it's okay. I have the play-by-play -play coverage for you. Carolina Mukova gets the break over Sabalenka in the first set. She's trying to serve it out. This is how you beat Sabalenka. I've said it time and time again. Deep in the corners, force the returns from her to be very uncomfortable. Force her to step up and make shots. How can Sabalenka beat Mukova? Well, it's simple. Sabalenka wants the ball in the center of the court. That's right. She can step up, hit a winner down the line, or she can go cross court. As long as it's in the center of the court, her power is normally going to hit the winner. If you are able to return it, you're definitely going to be at a disadvantage on, on the verge of possibly making an error if she doesn't get the winner first. Now, this is where Sabalenka does not want to be. I've said it. This is how you beat her, deep in the corners. However, ladies and gentlemen, Sabalenka, after giving up several net points, would get the play back to the center of the court. That's where Sabalenka wants it because it gives her so many options on where she can go with the ball. And with her power, opponents will be at a disadvantage to make mistakes. She breaks back. Mukova cannot hold. She could not serve this first set out. Will that come back to cost her? Will that haunt her, ladies and gentlemen? Sabalenka now dictating the pace in the temple, keeping the ball in the center of the court right where she wants it. That's how so many opponents fall to her because they cannot overpower her. They cannot deal with her power. Sabalenka breaks back. We're on serve at 5-5. Five, five.